both R410 and R810 are compatible with Google Cast. This is a proprietary technology that allows you to stream music directly from many different applications, such as BBC Sounds and Amazon Music. Also, with other Google Cast-enabled speakers, you can create an easy-to-manage multi-room system. And if a Google Nest speaker or hub is included, you can also activate and control R410, R810 and speaker groups using voice commands. This video shows how to set up and use Google Cast. Before you can use Google Cast, first, you should ensure that it has been enabled. During the initial setup of your system, after connecting to your Wi-Fi, the setup wizard asks if you would like to install Google Cast or set up later. If you chose to set up later, then here, we will show you how to quickly activate Google Cast on your system. First, press the source button and then scroll to and select Google Cast. This will present a screen showing the Google Cast logo, and here you are prompted to press the menu button to start setup, like so. In the Google Cast menu, use the control knob to select options, then select Activate Casting. In the next screen, you will see the main Google Cast activation screen. Here, use your phone's camera to scan the QR code. When recognized, tap your phone's screen to select and continue. After this, on your phone's screen, you will need to tap the Accept button to activate Google Cast, and then you are given the option to share device stats and any crash reports with Google. Select your option and finally, you will see the Google Cast setup complete screen. You are now ready to start casting to your product. In this first example, we are going to use Google Cast to turn on and then stream from the BBC Sounds app to R410. First, we will open the BBC Sounds app and then select the live channel or catch-up service we would like to listen to. Here, we are selecting the live stream of BBC Radio 4. With the station selected, tap the icon on the lower right of the screen. This icon will differ depending on whether you're using an iOS or Android device. The next screen will display all available devices on your network, one of which will be your Ruark product. Tap this, and then your Ruark product will activate and start playing the selected station. If it does not play immediately, you may need to tap on the play pause button to start playback. In this second example, we are going to use the Google Home app to assign two R410s to two different rooms. Once assigned, we will create a group for the two together, so we will then have the option to cast to them individually or together, making a multi-room system. With both R410s active and connected to Wi-Fi, we will now open the Google Home app and then select the Devices tab at the bottom of the screen. This opens a screen showing the available Google Cast devices on the network, and at the bottom of the screen, you can see the two R410 units, which we have previously named R410 Lounge and R410 Office. The option to change the name of R410 and R810 is usually done during initial setup, but it can also be changed at any time by pressing the menu button from any source and then scrolling to system settings. Click to select, and then scroll to device name, and then again click to select and change. With the product name set, next, we need to assign these R410s to the rooms we want to allocate them to, which in this instance is lounge and office. First, we tap R410 Lounge, and this opens a screen where you can see volume control along with a button which says Add to a Room. Tap this, and next, you will see a list of predefined rooms. If the name of your room is not already shown, then at the bottom of the list, you have the option to create and save your own room. Here, we will create the room Lounge.
Next, you will see confirmation that this R410 has been added to your selected room. Now with the second R410 we will repeat this process, except this time we are going to place this in a room called Office. With both R410s allocated, now if we select the Devices tab in the Google Home app, we can see that both our R410s have been positioned in their respective rooms. If desired, a third or fourth Google Cast speaker device can be added. These don't necessarily have to be RUARC devices, but they must be Google Cast certified, such as Google's own Nest Audio speaker, which we will demonstrate later when we talk about voice control. Now, with both R410s allocated, we can link them together to create a group. To do this, tap the Settings tab on the Google Home app, then tap the arrow next to Devices, Groups and Rooms. On the next screen, tap Speaker Groups and then finally tap Create Speaker Group. Next, you will see a screen showing speakers which you can link together and here we can see our two R410s. Tap both to select and then tap the Next button. Finally, on the last screen, we are prompted to enter a name for the group. In this instance, we are simply going to name it Group. With the R410s assigned, now if we open an app such as BBC Sounds and we tap on the Connect to a Device icon, we then see a list of devices that we can play to. Here, we can see R410 Lounge, R410 Office and Group. To play to individual R410s, we select a single device, but to play to a group, we simply select Group. So far, we've shown you how to use your smartphone to set up and control Google Cast devices. Now installed, we will next show you how we can use voice commands to control the R410s on our system. To do this, you will need a Google device with voice activation built in, such as a Nest Hub display, or a Google speaker, such as a Nest Mini or Nest Audio. In this instance, we are using a Nest Hub display, which has already been set up on our network. Speaking to the Nest Hub display, if we say, Hey Google, play BBC Radio 2 on R410 Office, Within a few moments, the R410 office automatically changes to the Google Cast source and starts playing BBC Radio 2. If we say, hey Google, increase the volume on R410 office, then the volume automatically increases. Next, we decide that we want to play some music to both R410s, so if we now say, hey Google, play Spotify on Group, in a few moments, music from your Spotify account will play simultaneously on both R410s. Now that Google Cast is set up, you can stream your music and other listening with the convenience of Google.